I wanted to make a movie showing you how I put together a portable treadle setup and I'm able to put more than just singer machines in it. I also put my national two spool, my two spools, and also a Davis vertical feed and other kinds of machines in this setup. And uh, I like to take this to workshops with me and also all around the house with me uh, or outside. And it's worked out really well and I want to show you what I've done. Right here of course you see a singer machine set into the cabinet. This top is off of another treadle cabinet and it was one that I couldn't do anything more with uh, for other things. So I took this top off. I took out took off the drawers just to save weight and space because it is a portable setup. And I've also added a shelf underneath. And that's mainly for the other non-singer machines that don't fit on the support pins in the back. Of course the singers will fit on those support pins in the back and fit into the cabinet perfectly. And I've also got, in order to make this able to, to fit different machines, I've also got one of these spring steel belts. So that way it stretches really well to fit any of the machines to go into this cabinet. So I'm going to take these machines off of here and I'll show you in a little more detail how I've set this up to be pretty quick and easy to move around from one place to another. So here's the top of the, of the cabinet. I took off the closure that would have, would have supported and, and folded over and closed this machine up. I took that off just to avoid the weight and the inconvenience of it. And uh, you know it probably could be put back on, but I don't need it. I actually got this cabinet for using the top on another machine, another cabinet. Um, so this one's been sitting around without its folding top anyway. And basically what I've done, you look down here, I've got this, this non-slip type shelving cover. And I set the machines when I'm not doing a singer, the feet of the machines will fit down on this. And I'll show you in a minute. And I added this table and of course left plenty of space for the belt to come up through there and fit on any machine. So there's this, this table under here. And I also had to do some cutting out for where some of the machines were hitting this support, where a singer wouldn't, the other machines did. And I did it at this end and in here too. But it's pretty minor. And the singers still are supported very well, no problem. So that's the top. And the way this works, I'm going to pull it out a little bit. Now this is down in here, you can see a little better. Just a platform that I put in there. It's real firm. It's put in with, with screws to hold it real tight so it can support the weight of machines and also the the movement and treadling of the machines. And this comes off, I'm going to pull it out a little bit, it comes off just with a pull. Now if you look down here, I've got some heavy duty Velcro on these support arms there and also under the top. Now I've got four corners and I just match up those Velcros when I put this table on here and it holds it firm, plenty firm once you get that spring steel treadle belt on a machine and have a machine sitting in it, it just does not move. It works very well. So this just comes off really easily. You just pull it 
and lift it off. So there's the base. Now, these wood supports, the treadle base is screwed to those, and they're also a couple inches tall. Now, I'm a tall person, and sometimes treadling on these treadle machines can get a little cramped, so that added some height to my treadling, and I like that. A little more about this treadle base. This is the newer version of the treadles that came out, oh, I think it was more in the 20s, 30s or so. Um, that is the tube steel. And they're a little lighter, but they're very sturdy. And I use these because, for one thing, this is one I got on a free, from a free treadle machine that someone was just going to throw away. It was badly rusted, so I de-rusted it, I sanded it down, and painted it black. So basically this, this would have been in the trash. And I'm using it specifically for this portable because it's lighter weight than the older heavy iron types. But it, it treadles wonderfully. Now just to show you the underside of this treadle top, there's my little Velcros. It's a heavy duty Velcro. Here's my base that supports the other types of machines. You can see I've got them screwed in, so it's very sturdy. And there's a spacer here. Drop it down. And Velcro on the other side. So that's all that holds that machine, that top, on this treadle. And that's all it needs. I've used this lots, and it never moves. And once you get a machine in there, get it set up, it just does great real quick to take apart, real quick to move, and relatively light. So once it's back on there, I want to show you where I'm going to put a different machine in there other than the Singer and how that works. So here I've set in the Davis vertical feed and it's not using the pins in the back. It's just sitting up against the back there and its feet are supported on that little support base that's underneath but it fits in pretty nicely. These are a little, little touch larger than the Singer's, so it's barely on the edge back in there, but it still works just fine. And basically all I have to do is pull up that treadle belt and drop it on the machine, and I'm ready to go. So there's a Davis vertical feed in this portable cab. One of my favorite machines are the National Tooth Spools, or the Eldritch Tooth Spools. And here I've got this one sitting in there, and it sits up above a little bit, above the edge, but it still flows just fine. I don't have any problem using it this way. And again, there we go. We've got a different brand of machine in a Singer top, and it works. I can take it wherever I want. So basically, I just wanted to show you my quick and easy little solution to a portable treadle because I like to treadle over using electric machines and so I needed something I could easily take with me to workshops or outside or around the house and uh, this has worked out really, really well.